Everyone, I'm Josh Benson. I'm Jen Holloway. Thank you for joining us. Three former juvenile justice G4S workers arrested. The Polk County Sheriff's Office says the former top brass covered up criminal activity at the Highlands Youth Academy. As News Channel 8's Melissa Marino shows us, this all started after the riot there in 2013. The sheriff didn't mince words. He says that this grand jury report from the riot was ignored, as well as years of criminal activity. This is what the Avon Park Youth Academy looked like in 2013 after a riot sparked by a fight over a cup of noodles. Juvenile inmates trashed the facility and everything in sight. What we found were the guards huddling in the corner, the place being totally and utterly destroyed. In 2015, a scathing grand jury report was released about the Department of Juvenile Justice and G4S, the private security company they hired to run the facility. Quote, the existence of the Highlands Youth Academy in its current state is a disgrace. Despite that, the sheriff says the report was ignored. The Department of Juvenile Justice and G4S went along their merry way of Denial, cover up. He says the facility continued on a downward spiral. February 2016. There was a large disturbance at the facility once again, resulting in the injury to a staff member. That same year, a guard was charged with having sex with a juvenile inmate. All incidents, the sheriff says, these G4S top brass ignored and even covered up. Your bottom line looked good on the spreadsheets while they fail the kids. But he says, bottom line, these privately run facilities need better oversight. I'm not naive enough to think the Highlands Youth Academy is the only one that's run like this in the state of Florida. We reached out to the Department of Juvenile Justice for a response, but we haven't heard back. In Polk County, Melissa Marino, News Channel 8.